Hi guys, welcome back to Impossible. So, um, I just want to say that if you're sensitive, please go to another channel uh, because my channel is only for the real and Tasha don't give a fuck about your feelings and what she says. Okay? So, um, next up I'm doing Aquarius Man, Virgo Man. Woo! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right. Virgo man need to know, do not start a game that he cannot finish with the Aquarius man because he's going to have his hands full. Now, in the beginning, let's begin. Uh, air meets earth. Okay, so, you know, they're both great conversationalists. They're both business-minded men. You know, uh, Aquarius man, he knows what he wants. Virgo man as well. Well, in the beginning, yes, as well. Um, they're both not jumping into relationships rather quickly, but at the same time, you know, um, these two, you know, they're funny, you know, they're outgoing, you know, here, there, everywhere, because the Aquarius man, he's not cheap. Virgo man is not cheap as well. So this works very well, you know, in the beginning, you know, you know, courting and dating, you know, Virgo man can be romantic. Aquarius man could be romantic in the bedroom. Aquarius man, Virgo man, Aquarius man is going to be pulling out the tricks in the bedroom. Virgo man is going to appreciate this. They both highly, highly, highly sexual uh, men, you know, so a lot of fucking going on here, a lot of experimenting, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of nasty sh shit going on here with these two, okay? Here's where things get complicated, you know, uh, Aquarius man, you know, he is a fixed sign, so, you know, and he's very unpredictable, Virgo man as well, he can be unpredictable, okay? Another thing is, Virgo man can tell little lies here and there, and Aquarius man is very intuitive and read bullshit, and he's not gonna appreciate this whatsoever, because Virgo man can play game mind games sometimes aquarius man does not like anybody to play mind games because he is the master of fucking mind games okay now if they evolve something different okay one thing i will give these two are uh, they both hard workers they're both hard workers and ambitious people more so the aquarius man than the Virgo man, okay? Because the Aquarius man, if they ever, if they ever, because this could turn out to be a long-lasting relationship. If they ever decide to get into a long-lasting relationship, Aquarius man is gonna be the one to keep the Virgo man on his toes, okay? Mm. Now, when Virgo man is evolved, he is an earth sign, so he looks for stability, security, all of that stuff. He's he's grounded, okay? This is one thing, but he's moody at times, okay? And so is the Aquarius man, all right? Uh, another thing is Aquarius man is non-emotional, okay? Virgo man as well, all right? They're more action-oriented than verbal, verbally uh, expressing one feelings, okay? But here's the thing. A uh, Virgo man is going to want that from his Aquarius man every now and then to say where this relationship is heading or where is it where it's going now what could put a, 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 a stop to this is if Aquarius man feels like Virgo man is not fully being honest or fully telling him what the fuck is going on or what he really wants okay because Virgo man could be in and out and so does so can the Aquarius man now if Aquarius man feels like he's not getting the answers or he's just monitoring them observing because they both are gonna be observing each other Virgo man as well so Virgo man is very observant and he's very analytical okay so is the Aquarius man so they're both are gonna be observing each other but one thing is for sure um, do not start a game that you can't finish with the Aquarius man because Aquarius man can back off at any given moment and then see you later. Okay, Virgo man is going to learn this the hard way because the sex is going to be, Aquarius man is going to bring that heat to the bedroom. Yes, he is. Okay, um, but at the same time, he could back off at any given moment if he feel any funny ducky shit going on in this type of connection. All right, so your best course of action, a lot of honesty and uh, honest communication has to be displayed here okay in order for this to work no mind games no mind games okay no mind games now virgo man he's now uh, this is another thing that is great between these two they're non-argumentative 
they would rather walk away. And this is, the, but that's the great thing. But here's the here's the bad thing. No one wants to come to terms of speaking about what's really wrong or going wrong in this connection. That's that's the pros and cons to this bullshit going on here. Okay. Now, in terms of living together, now, who's going to ground this relationship, who's going to ground this relationship, is going to be the Virgo man. Why? Because Aquarius man, once he, once he shuts down or just backs off, Virgo man is going to be wanting to seek answers from the Aquarius man because Aquarius man, you know, he's the type of man, he's very charming, just like him. You know, it's like a mirror relationship that they both not cheat, they both romantic, they both all have all these qualities within them. But two different, different in a sense, different, different ways, okay? Aquarius man is more straightforward and blunt and up, uh, up front of how he feels. A Virgo man can be the same way, but Aquarius man is honest in his, his approach. Virgo man, not so much. Got it? Okay, so yes, all right? Now, if Virgo man is evolved, okay, yes. But other than that, Careful, careful, careful with him. All right, but um, in terms of long-term relationship, it can work. Now, in the beginning, they both can cheat on each other or see other people or just be playing the field. That's how these two are. Okay, if they feel like they're not getting um, the proper connection or they're not getting what they really, um, they're not feeling feeling it with the other person but this could turn out to be a long-term relationship because they really can actually balance out each other and they really have a lot of things in common now another thing another aspect of this relationship is the mind because this is a mental connection there's going to be a mental connection Aquarius is more optimistic Virgo man is more pessimistic so you know this is where uh, they they can balance each other out as well because you know Aquarius man he always looks for more, strive for more, always thinking better. You know Virgo man he thinks worse before better. Aquarius man thinks better, better, better. Okay, he doesn't worry about the worst. If it comes, it comes. But I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about this. Virgo man could think the worst before it happens. So this is where um, they can really learn to communicate. If they communicate effectively, <laughs> they can really learn how to, you know, Aquarius man can really help Virgo man in this department as far as, you know, um, how he think and how he view things and not to be so negative at times and, and to, you know, like that, you know, but these two can really, really, really get along if they pass these hurdles, if they pass these hurdles, because in the beginning, there's all pieces of cream, and they both snake charmers, you know, this and that, especially the Virgo man. Aquarius man is going to be like, yeah, tell me again, what, yes, mm-hmm. And they both are going to be observing each other, and this and that, and you know, mm, at every given moment, one could disappear. Aquarius man first, okay? They both could do it to each other, all right? But, you know... This is like, uh, how can I call this relationship? I would call this relationship uh, musical chairs, okay? <laughs> All right, you know, but, uh, get back together, you know, start over again, then disappear, get back together, start over again until they get it right. Okay, will they get it right? Who knows? If they evolve, they can get it right. If they're not evolved, there's going to be musical fucking chairs between these two. This could be either a long-lasting relationship where you come to terms with understanding each other and respecting each other and being open and honest with communication. Or this could be a shithole of a fucking relationship that uh, fuck you and fuck you too. Okay? Go about your business with your mind games. I ain't got time for this shit. This, this type of shit going on here. All right? But living together, they both are going to do their equal give and take in this relationship. They all, they both are going to be, um, you know, cook, clean, helping each other out, okay? But one thing's for sure, this is going to be a mental connection, mental, um, if they ever get there, where they can really balance each other out um, and, you know, effective communication. That's, that's all that, that matters. Sex, no problem. That's going to evolve from good to great to awesome right because Aquarius uh, Virgo man he's down for whatever and he's highly sexual all right and he's very romantic and this is what they both have the, the similar qualities it's just it's just getting past these little 
these little uh, obstacles that could get in the way as far as uh, honest communication and spying on each other and disappearing acts and, you know, playing mind games and, you know, stuff like that. But other than that, these these two can really get along because they're both humorous and uh, they're both long-term people once they're there. Okay? But anyway, I have to go. Part two coming soon. Thumbs up. Like. Subscribe. Your girl Tosh. I'm possible. You're possible. I'm out.